The Radisson Blue Royal Hotel is a sleek high-rise in the center of Copenhagen. The interior is full of modernist design classics. The five-star hotel opened half a century ago. All 260 rooms looked like this back then. Now only suite 606 retains the original 60s furnishings such as the egg chair. They and the building were all designed by the great Arne Jakobsen and were commissioned by Scandinavian Airlines. The hotel represented the height of modernism back then. Roy Al Kappenberger is the son of the first director. In fact, his first name reflects the hotels. We all are very proud that uh, the entire hotel, uh, with the interior, with the furniture, was designed by, by uh, one person only, and uh, the person was Arne Jakobsen. It was a uh, genius at his time as, in, as an architect. So that makes it very unique. I cannot imagine any other hotel uh, that has been designed from A to Z, really, with all the details from one person. Lux 11 is a design hotel in downtown Berlin. The mix of old and new is typical of stylish New Berlin. The hotel appeals to trendy globetrotters in their 30s who want a cool looking room and good food and want to meet people. The hotel opened in 2005, one of the first design hotels in Berlin. Occupancy rates are high for the 72 rooms and so the owners are thinking of opening another hotel. Hotels that belong to big chains are all the same. You know what to expect. When you wake up, you can't tell what city you're in. Here, we worked hard to create lots of details and give the hotel a distinct identity so that you know where you are. Guests remember that. And that's what makes it special. Patrick Rosenthal is, by profession, a hotel critic. He established the World Hotel Awards, given to the best contenders in various categories. He's been observing closely the boom in design hotels in recent years. If you just think about the word design, it has to do with giving form or shape. People have become sick and tired of hotels that just about fulfill the criteria to qualify for their four or five stars. But they're nothing special in terms of service, say, or beautiful design. Rosenthal has been checking out the new design hotel rumors in Frankfurt. The very first impression is extremely important. We're in the lobby of Rumors Hotel. And what you notice first are the fantastic lamps designed by Rashid. And here you see how design and function mesh perfectly. The swan chairs by Roberto Cavalli. He designed this lamp too. Good design and beautiful objects. And the staff look like models. It all just works. Rumors opened just one year ago, so it represents the latest in boutique hotel design, modern yet cozy. Rumors style was created by different interior designers. The 117 rooms and suites are chiefly booked by business people. And here you can see how the design concept extends from the lobby through to the rooms. We have the same colors plus the soothing light. A real highlight, of course, is having Italian cotton, which you don't see in every hotel. When guests wake up in the morning, their first thought is wanting to stay in bed. Patrick Rosenthal has tested 400 establishments worldwide, and this one certainly gets a passing grade. At the Royal Radisson Blue Hotel in Copenhagen, some may feel as if they're in a design museum. But it's more than just classics that make the experience. It's the aesthetics of the place as a whole that give guests something to remember. And that's what they want, just as they did half a century ago.